Hello again YouTube for my, uh, well this isn't really a tutorial, it's just a little concern of mine about the mapping community. Uh, I've noticed everybody, when they create displacements, or the majority of new mappers, they uh, think, oh I have this displacement and a player spawn point. So uh, that must mean my map's ready. But no, if you have a displacement as the ground, and you have entities in your map as well, then your entities are going to leak. This is a displacement here. I'll just paint some basic geometry on it. We have a little hill area. Just like that. No, it's actually basic geometry. So give that a quick smooth over. Okay, so you have basic displacement there, like that. Now, you have your info underscore player underscore start and your light underscore environment up here. Now, a lot of people think that you have a displacement here, it's just going to be like any other brush and seal off the map from the outside this, the void. Well, that isn't true because if you go underneath, you'll see that you can actually see through the displacement. Now, seeing as you can see through the displacement, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's going to have the same effect as when you look through it. You actually, all these entities, or this void, is passing through here. Because there's nothing stopping it from getting in. So what you need to do, you need to go ahead, grab your brush tool, create a no-draw block, it's your best bet. And just place that. Oh, shit place that right below where the displacement starts so around about there now if the displacement comes underground then you're going to have to move it down and seal it off at the sides as well if it goes underground but this one just goes above ground so you can just put it dead below it so do like that so then you have your nodule block in here I don't like it when this happens. I always get concerned, so what I'm going to do is just bring that down. And then grab all four walls. Just duplicate these down a level. Just so they're covering it up as well. And I'm going to attach to those no drawers as well. So now you don't have any no draw showing on the top, and you have like a little base down here. So then when you go into game and you compile the map, it won't leak. So hopefully it doesn't leak. Set that as displacement. Okay that. And there should be no leaks. There you go, there's no leaks there. Whereas if you didn't have the blocks underneath there, you would get a leak. So make sure you always seal off your displacements, as it can really screw up your map. So um, I'll just go in game now and test this. Okay, so I'm just coming in game just to test uh, the displacement map. I just uh, show you all. So um, yeah, it's very important that you uh, don't. I can't stress enough. Seal up your displacements, otherwise you're going to get a leak, and then. <clears throat> if you're a reasonably new mapper, you're not going to know what to do because you don't know where it's coming from, which is why you always can go um, in Hammer, you can go to up the top little toolbar selection, you can go to Map and then Load Point File, and uh, that will display a red line uh, directing you to where the leak is located. And um, you can just cover that straight up. But, um, yeah, the space will just seal it underneath with a no draw block, and uh, that should work. See? And I'm in game. You have your displacement to walk about on. Just make sure none of the edges are popping out. There you go, and there's no leaks. So um Yeah, that's that's about it really. No leaks and uh but yeah, just seal off your displacements, please. I don't want any more bad maps being released which are blocky, full bright have leaks, it's not good. But, um, 
yeah, thanks for watching my second little tutorial type thing. Uh, I'll see you in another one. Goodbye.